things have gone from bad to worse for the upcoming Jake Paul vs. Mike Tyson fight and it's looking in jeopardy after Mike Tyson reveals he's bedbound and cannot move from his recent training videos he's been releasing. He has also been warned he could potentially die if he faces Jake Paul on July 20th. But what does that really mean for the blockbuster event set to be shown exclusively on Netflix? Be sure to stick around till the end for the full details. After agreeing to fight with Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, the former heavyweight, received a health warning from a doctor. On July 20, Tyson, the former unified heavyweight champion, will square off against Paul, a YouTuber who is now a boxer and 30 years his junior. Even though Tyson was one of the fiercest heavyweight fighters in history and the first ever to hold the WBA, WBC, and IBF titles concurrently, he will be 58 years old when he challenges Paul in the ring. In fact, Paul, 27, has drawn criticism for accepting a bout with a fighter who hasn't participated in a professional match since 2005, from figures like Carl Froch, Eddie Hearn, and KSI. Furthermore, a prominent lecturer in medicine at Anglia Ruskin University has noted in an article for the conversation that Tyson might get fatal injuries in the fight. Dr. Stephen Hughes asserted that Iron Mike, an elderly man in recovery from alcoholism, is susceptible to subdural hemorrhage or rupturing of the brain's veins. In older people, the brain tends to lose volume, Hughes explains. This lengthens the bridging veins and makes them more vulnerable to rupture. Bleeding from these torn veins causes a collection of blood that presses on the brain. This causes confusion, loss of consciousness, neurological disability, and in some cases, death. Alcoholism is known to accelerate brain shrinkage, and it appears that Tyson has this as a past risk factor. Hughes went on to say that if Tyson overtrains for the rematch, he could end up with many cardiac issues. Which is why there's a high likelihood this fight will be called off a lot sooner than later. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. This way, you'll never miss out on any future celebrity videos similar to these. Hughes further added, Middle age sees an increase in the likelihood of cardiac events such as arrhythmia, irregular heartbeat, angina, reduced blood flow to heart muscles, and myocardial infarction, heart attack. Keeping fit protects against cardiovascular disease, and Tyson's exercise regime will benefit him greatly. However, the temptation to overdo it in the gym is always there. Extreme exercise can lead to cardiac fibrosis, scarring of the heart muscles, which over time may lead to heart failure or sometimes sudden death. Coronary atherosclerosis, narrowed heart arteries, is common in middle age, even in seemingly healthy people. However, it can lead to sudden death during exercise. Although regular exercise reduces this risk, a cocaine habit elevates it considerably, and Tyson has been known to have used the drug in the past. Although many fans believe Mike Tyson will still be able to destroy Jake Paul come fight night because of the recent training clips he's been posting across social media. Initially, many were assuming due to the fact Mike Tyson will be 58 when he steps into the squared ring against Jake Paul that he would stand no chance whatsoever and will get cleaned out of there quick. But since Mike has been releasing daily videos from inside his training camp, many have switched tune with posts like, Jake Paul's trainer is training him. Mike Tyson's trainer is trying to stay alive. I have never wanted Mike Tyson to win a match more than this. I'm starting to really, really, really worry for Jake Paul. The main reason for this fight's popularity is that it's available on Netflix, which makes it accessible to most fans and has it in over 260 million homes worldwide. The important thing is that there is complete disagreement among the audience on the winner. Mike Tyson, 60, is allegedly being tormented by him. And even with his strength, he is helpless against the harm, according to half of the internet. On the other hand, 50% of people say, This is Mike Tyson. He's not like any other YouTuber. And he certainly won't lose to Jake Paul. We briefly mentioned Eddie Hearn earlier on in the video and his doubts for the fight and the reasoning for having it. And it appears he's predicting that Jake Paul will beat Mike Tyson because of his age. So for me, it's really sad because like Mike Tyson's one of my idols growing up. And to see him fight, was he 57, something like 58? But I also understand, like... It, a lot of people are going to tune in and watch and it's a it's an entertainment event if you like Netflix is a, it's great to see them in boxing so I think it'll do really well but it's just not really one for me is it not one for you because of the fact that he's old and it older sorry oh, yeah. <laughs> that it's, just, it's dangerous or just more that you don't want him to kind of tarnish I don't his think you should be fighting at 58 years or again sorry if I got the age wrong but 
57, yeah, 57 years old. Um, but also, the guy was one of the greatest ever fighters. Why do you want to go in at 5% of what you were and, and lose to a, a guy like Jake Paul? Like, Which, when you think about it, is pretty insane. As a few years ago, if you had said Jake Paul would be fighting Mike Tyson, the majority would think he stands no chance whatsoever and wouldn't even bat an eyelid. Now you have people involved in the sport of boxing stating Jake Paul will win. Before we go any further into the video, what are your guys' honest predictions for this fight coming July 20th? Do you even think it's going to be sanctioned after the warnings Mike Tyson has received from doctors? But if it does take place, could you see a huge upset in Jake Paul getting the win over Mike Tyson? Or will Mike show the world he still got it? Comment down below! Due to his health issues, Mike Tyson ended up in a wheelchair in July 2022. And as most of you are aware, was seen using a walking cane. This raises serious concerns about his readiness for the fight on July 20. He even discussed how a training session video he showed immediately after damaged his body in an interview with Joe Rogan Podcast. Want me to tell you something about that video? I filmed that video and I was in bed for a week. That was 30 seconds and I was in bed for a week. It's not funny because it made me realize that this is big boy shit. Following Mike Tyson's announcement of a bout with YouTuber Jake Paul, his trainer has made an effort to ease concerns regarding the heavyweight legend's health. A medical professional has advised Tyson that going back into the ring could cause brain damage. But his coach, Rafael Cordero, downplayed reports that the fight is reckless. I believe we don't have to be concerned about it. We're talking about a two-time world champion, he told the MMA Hour. The guy didn't have 20 fights in two years. He knows how to fight. He's fought against the best guys in the world. When he steps aside the ring, he knows what to do. It's not something new for Mike, and this fight is no different. He works hard every single day to go in there and try to knock Jake out from the beginning to the end. This is his style. Nobody has teach Mike Tyson how to fight. He's going to prove that in July. You can see fire in his eyes when he trains, and he will never give less than that. I truly believe it's going to be a great show. Mike is going to step into the ring as the old Mike Tyson and he's going to try and knock out Jake from the beginning to the end. Tyson has begun his training camp in anticipation of the July fight, which may draw 80,000 spectators. He's already in shape and we've started doing rounds. It's amazing to see him hitting mitts. Mike is a monster. I can guarantee Mike will touch Jake and let's see how Jake reacts to that. With all due respect, he's a good kid, but he hasn't faced anyone who is a legend in the sport. We are talking about one of the most popular people in the world. The announcement that Jake Paul in Mike Tyson's upcoming fight will seemingly be a legitimately sanctioned pro boxing bout that will affect both fighters' records shocked boxing aficionados. A lot of people thought the fight would be an exhibition, which, if it's the case, Mike Tyson will most certainly ensure he's more than prepared to battle against Jake Paul and will definitely be looking to get him out of there early on. Bearing in mind it'll be a healthy payday for Mike Tyson, where MMA veteran Henry Cejudo and mixed martial arts legend Kamaro Usman questioned Paul's choice to face a man 30 years his older. In the end though, they acknowledged that it would be challenging to turn down the money. Cejudo stated, you know, I mean, you know what, I respect Uncle Mike, but it obviously takes two to tango. I feel like there's probably a really good payday for Mike. He's probably going to wind up making close to about 20 mil, and he's about to turn 58 years old. Fans are eager for this fight to take place on July 20th, regardless of whether they support the fight's morality or not. Everyone wants to watch the fight happen live. Anyway, this concludes today's video. Be sure to subscribe to LoafTube for future celebrity videos and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. Until then, see you in the next one.